Siakam out there with Miles Turner. Then there's Tyrese Halliburton, and it's Nimhard in at the shooting guard position. And for Milwaukee, the heavyweights for this team, Middleton and Giannis at forward. Damian Lillard out there with Malik Beasley, and it's Portis in at the five. Taking a look at Milwaukee, they have home court advantage here, but this could be a tough series for them. And you can see either team advancing from this series. A tough way to start out your postseason campaign for sure. Boy, Pascal Siakam plays at his own pace, able to find the open man. Lillard looking around. Portis, the pass to Beasley. Clock at six. For three, here's Lillard. They get it back. Here's Portis. And Turner with the block. I tell you, you love the attitude of Miles Turner. No one is getting off these shots when he's nearby. No one. Uh, there's no quitting this guy. He just gives you great effort, and he continues to give you great production. Now here's Lillard. Pass to Portis. On Kupo outside. No good with the triple. Indiana on offense. Here's Nimhart. Turner with it. He's guarded by Beasley. Releases. Oh, wow! Incredible! And he jams it home with authority. You love the determination, right? Miles Turner effectively getting to the window and getting another opportunity. And he hits it and gets hacked. A three-point chance here if he can convert. Yeah, attack mode from the start. Exactly what you want coming into this game. Get it to the right guy, get a high percentage look, and that's the kind of game they want to play tonight. At the line for Milwaukee, Chris Middleton. That free throw good from Middleton. A proven champion. Middleton is someone any team would love to have. A great player and a great locker room presence as well. Here's Siakam. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. 80% from the field to start, playing with a ton of confidence. And they call an illegal screen here. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. Siakam, no good. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. Halliburton against Lillard. Second shot opportunity. Hits the layup after the sweet pump thing to freeze the D. Come on, man. Did you see? I mean, just using his strong frame to absorb the contact and still able to finish. Wow. Now here's Halliburton. Driving in over Lillard. Here's Nimhart. Always 
He's a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Milwaukee has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Lillard passes to Anacumpo. Portis outside. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. It's on the putback. And just tremendous putback ability. Giannis with that length and agility. Just unstoppable. Pass to Turner. Here's Lee Smith. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. First personal foul. First team foul. the first that one's no good and so Middleton will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks trailing by four Portis gets the bucket I mean the versatility of Middleton not just a score also a solid passer and distributor Out to the right wing. Here's Nimhart. Some solid D from Beasley. A perfect example of how to protect the rim. That boy, to have someone back there who can erase your mistakes. What a big-time asset defensively. Oh, man, the balance of muscle Giannis possesses is tremendous. Phenomenal at scoring on physical defenses. Now here's Siakam. Six to shoot. So he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. First personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the place of Aaron needs that. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Shots good from the strike. Here's Beasley. Yet to see a basket. Over Turner. Beasley misses. You'd like to see more effective ball movement there. Well, there's no doubt there were better options on the floor, but it certainly seemed like he had his mind made up. And it's out of bounds. The Bucks oh, able to retain ball. possession here. Kumpo against Siakam. The drive by Anna Kumpo. How about the defense of Pascal Siakam? This guy likes making it tough on the offensive player. Here's Nimhart. Down low. Here's Siakam. Rebound, Milwaukee. Pass to Anna Kumpo. And he gets that one. Yeah. Oh, the Kumpo has got six points. Oh. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. Here's Nimhart. He's guarded by Beasley. And he dunks it down. Oh, that was nasty. A two-hand mega slam. Man, I don't think anyone was going to stop him there. Here's Lillard. Who oh, trains the 19-footer. He's known for the long ball. But... Every bit as effective in the mid-range. Turner passes to Demar. Kicks it out to Siakam. Here's Neesmith. Shot clock at five. The three ball. Anacumpo grabs the board. And that's exactly how tightly you have to guard him every time he steps to the arc. He's just that good. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Here's Nimhart. Pass to Turner. The rebound by the Bucks. Portis has got four rebounds now. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Ooh, the turnaround jumper. Count it. Give him eight. This guy has been a catalyst for them all game long. What a job 
leading them to this lead. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. Changes. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Portis. Crowder comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Beverly in for Beasley. Beverly against Halliburton. He can't get it to go. The Bucks have gotten 8 of 16 attempts to fall. And on to Kumpo, the bucket. On the assist from Beverly. Now it's a four-point Bucks lead. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. Here's McConnell on target from about 13 feet. That's a move you won't see many guys make. Impressive stuff. Pass to Lopez. It's hauled in by McConnell. Boy, surprise team missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. Lee Smith passes to Halliburton. And out of bounds, Milwaukee will have it. Here's Lillard. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Oh, and the jam by Giannis! Beyond belief. I mean, such a creative talent. And I'm not surprised to see Giannis get flashy on the finish. Now here's McConnell. Smith outside. Halliburton surveys the floor. Six on the shot clock. Shoots over Beverly. Pulled the shot a little left. The bounce goes his way, though. You see Halliburton has the ability to rise above most defenders with the lag. Just puts it to great use there. And it's Beverly on the drive. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's going to be on Tyrese Halliburton. At the line for the box. Patrick Beverly. Two shots. Free throw good from Beverly. Boy, Patrick Beverly, what a pleasure this guy is to watch. The level of competitiveness, the commitment to the defensive end. Man, he can raise the team. And the Pacers is making a change here. Jackson is checked in. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Indiana trailing here. Top and left side. And the ball goes out of bounds. Touched by Lopez. Halliburton outside. And it falls for him. He's hit three of his first four attempts. And so it's on to Kupo with it. He brings it up for the Bucks. To Lopez. Up top, Beverly. Defended by Halliburton. Just five to shoot. Milwaukee, no good that time either. He is too good a shooter, guys, to be left open like that. The defense just dodged a bullet there. Jackson against Beverly. Jackson, pass to McConnell. Over Lillard. Milwaukee in the lead to the middle. That's good from Beverly. The assist by Alan Now, the 
this guy is a fighter. Patrick Beverly will not back down from contact. Pass to Toppin. The shot comes out. Good work defensively by Crowder. Jackson against Beverly. Here's Ana de Kumpo. And the jam by Ana de Kumpo. And the game plan for them should be simple. Keep getting it to Giannis. The Greek freak is on fire. McConnell against Lillard. Here's Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. Well, what he lacks in size for a typical center, he makes up for with all that athleticism. Boy, can he elevate. McConnell against Lillard. Pass to Lopez. Yes! Great play by Lillard to set it up. Lillard's got his third assist of the night. You know, I think Lopez knows basically he can get his shot up over anyone. That stretch ability as a perimeter scorer is so important. Now here's Toppin. No point so far. Here's McConnell. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. Inside. And the duck by Lillard. Well, you love Crowder's willingness to distribute the basketball. His vision allows him to set his teammates beautifully. Kicks it out to Jackson. Pass to Halliburton. Adenakumpo grabs the board. Adenakumpo has got his fourth rebound in this one. And there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. First personal foul. One of the only ways to slow down Antetokounmpo is to get physical with him. But you know what? That may not work. He is so good at absorbing contact in the paint. And that one falls for Ana de Kumpo. The resume Giannis has built already is impressive. And he's nowhere close to being done adding to it. And so Ana de Kumpo nails both of them. Just four seconds left in the opening quarter. That shot, no good. Giannis Antetokounmpo has been on display for Milwaukee. He was dominant this quarter, scoring in bunches. Back to the game after this break. 23. And time for us to get back into it here in game one. Let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Bucks, guys. Well, they've used the fast break well to score easy points and keep the defense unsettled. And we know this. Every team in the league now seems to be looking to play with pace. And it's Lillard with the ball for the Milwaukee Bucks. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest of the game. Filling out the wings, it's Beasley and Middleton. Brooke Lopez is out there with Jay Crowder. And it's Lillard in at the one spot. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. Here's McConnell. The Bucks getting their last shot to go. To the left side wing. Here's Nimhart. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's on Malik Beasley. First team foul. Shooting for Indiana. Andrew Nimhart. At the line for two. First free throw is good. Gallinari, he's checked in for Milwaukee. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. 
Milwaukee shooting about 60% for the game. Here's Lillard. It's hauled in by McConnell. Siakam outside. Tipped away. Off with the layup. Here's Milwaukee. Here's Crowder. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Defensive foul. Pascal Siakam. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for one. Jay Crowder. A well-rounded player like Jay Crowder. Cross positional on the defensive end. A guy who has really developed into a multi-talented threat. Who is stolen by Lillard. And here they come. Fires the three. And another three for Milwaukee. Yeah, a lot of coaches might let you hear it for taking a three-pointer on the break, but I like the decision there. The D had already collapsed inside. Now here's Siakam. McConnell. It's good. And give the assist to Siakam. Well, great decision to kick it out. Trust that your teammate will knock down the shot. Pass to Middleton. Now Lillard. He's marked by McConnell. Crowder inside. Working on Siakam. And it's Crowder missing. Terrific rim protection impacting the shot. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. Now here's Siakam. And there it is for him. Siakam's got six points. This guy's got incredible all-around skill set. Pascal Siakam from the paint. Yes, sir. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. And another three for Milwaukee. That's his second bucket from range this quarter after hitting none in the first. McConnell against Lillard. And the Pacers tack on two more. With the utmost belief in his game, he's able to beat opponents in a number of ways. Pascal Siakam with the rebound. The Pacers have gotten three or four field goals in the second quarter. McConnell, good. McConnell. Give him eight points now. And they seem to have found a nice groove here in the second period. It's Middleton on the wing. And Turner with the block. To the inside. And stolen by Beasley. Lillard against Siakam. Oh, tough shot, Lillard. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for Milwaukee. With well, their hands resulting in plenty of steals in the early going, keeping the opposition there off balance. You know, also, they've been incredible on the fast break, taking those chances, playing with great pace. Just four to shoot. Good on the bucket. Milwaukee has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Timeout called. Milwaukee. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. Well, this is a chess match. Looking ahead a few moves and trying to execute toward that. Finds Gallinari. It's rebounded by Indiana. Pass to Nimhart. 
Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Milwaukee has gone two for two from the arc here in the second. Lillard passes to Portis. Tries from six feet. He's looking good. Two buckets and three attempts. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. The shot by Nimhart, no good. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. We call that a great contest. You know this is something he brings to the table, the ability to anchor your defense. Here's Nimhart. He has six. Turner, no good. McConnell against Lillard. It's hauled in by McConnell. McConnell's got four rebounds now. There's the drive. Good man. The defender really went after him. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for Indiana. TJ McConnell. Two shots. That one misses, and the Bucks making a change here. Beverly's checked in. And he sinks the second. And here's Middleton. Pass to Portis. Outside Gallinari. Middleton outside. In the first half, you want to stay aggressive, but you also want to be careful. That is his second foul already. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Milwaukee. Halliburton's checked in for Indiana. Middleton, left side. Out left to the wing. From outside the arc. And it's Lopez. That time, all the assist by Middleton. Lopez has got six points. Now Halliburton. Six points for him. That's a tough, contested shot for mid-range. Not what they wanted. Well, especially with that defensive player in the area. You know he's going to find a way to get into the shooter and make him uncomfortable. Kept alive. And so it's Halliburton with it. He brings it up for the Indiana Pacers. 15-point game. But Halliburton can be so clever with the basketball. Helps yet another teammate take advantage of an opening. Middleton. Another shot. Pacers with a rebound. Siakam. Pass to Halliburton. Back to Siakam. Pass to Neesmith. Three on the clock. And a miss there on the triple. Milwaukee has gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. Here's Middleton. Pacers with a rebound. Siakam's got four rebounds now. Over Middleton. Here's Halliburton. Goes back up. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It's on Malik Beasley. This is where Halliburton keeps you off balance. Defense never sure if he's going to make a pass. That time he up makes you into a foul. And he makes the first. A superb scorer and a talented distributor. Tyrese Halliburton is exactly the type of point guard every team would love to have. And the Bucks making a change here. Anadokounmpo's checked in. And both free throws good for Halliburton. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. Timeout called. Milwaukee.
Milwaukee has got it going from deep. Three for three so far in the quarter. Lopez finds Beasley. Driving inside. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Beasley's got his first basket of the night. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Outside for Halliburton. And the call is going to be, yes, on a legal screen. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Halliburton against Beverly. Lopez in the post, and they pick up two. Lopez has got eight. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Here's Jackson. Over to the left wing. Pass to Halliburton. Down to five on the shot clock. Rejected by Lopez. Well, Lopez twice on the pipes. He has the length to do this every time on the defensive end. Milwaukee's gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. Middleton outside. Excellent D there from Toppin. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. He cannot buy a bucket right now. Demhar, good. The assist. They put together a solid lead. And it doesn't seem like they're going to back off. To the paint. Here's Beverly. And so far in this one, two for four. Boy, Malik Beasley, known as a poor scorer, but how about the setup of his teammate right there? That's a pretty pass. Pass to Nimhart. Let's it go from deep. That's good. And Halliburton gets the assist. He's got 13. He's shooting well, doing his best to keep this offense in gear, but he hasn't had a lot of support. this if the defense collapses if it makes a mistake momentarily Beverly has the kind of basketball IQ to take advantage pass to Smith oh it's blocked by Lopez here's Beasley oh excellent D there from Jackson Indiana has gone one for three from downtown here in the second Nimhart the pass to Halliburton a minute 37 left in the first half. Toppin finds Halliburton. Top of the key, and they'll get another chance. Anadokounmpo against Jackson. Shots good by Anadokounmpo. Anadokounmpo has got four points in the quarter. Yeah, one of the most efficient inside scores. Giannis just can't be stopped. Here's Toppin. Not going to go that time. Great D that time for Middleton. That's good from Beverly. The assist by Middleton. Middleton's got assist number five here tonight. Going inside. Offensive rebound, Pacers. And out of bounds. Milwaukee will have it. This is one of those nights. Mistake after mistake. A comedy of errors. Lillard's checked in for Beasley. And the Pacers also making a change. McConnell, he's checked in for Nimhart. Milwaukee has got it going from deep. Three for three so far in the quarter. Here's Anadokounmpo. Off target with a jump hook. The Pacers shooting about 41%. Here's Halliburton. Toppin outside from deep. Down it goes. And a great assist by Halliburton. Halliburton's got his fourth assist with that last one. Here's Lillard. Counted. Now 8 for 13 with that basket. Oh, what strength from Lillard. Able to bury the shot on the physical coverage. Halliburton outside. Shoots over Beverly. That misses. That would have counted had it gone. And so a pretty lopsided game for the first half. Bucks ahead, leading by 17. All right, now let's check in with Ali LaForce. Ali, what do you have? Thanks, guys. I'm here with Doc Rivers and Coach. You guys came out aggressive in the first half. 
what stood out to you? You know, we're getting to the paint and making plays. They're a great team as far as rotation, so we just got to make the right passes. It all starts with attacking the basket. Thanks, Doc. Thank you, Allie. Good stuff. We will be right back after this break for the beginning of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again. Welcome to our postseason halftime show. Ernie Johnson along with the Diesel and the Jet. Well, for Milwaukee, boy, have they ever started this series off on the right foot. They've thrown down the gauntlet here in game one with their intensity and effectiveness on both ends of the floor. Now, they've got a little bit of an intimidation factor going into the second half. Kenny, your thoughts on the Bucks' first half. What a brilliant, unselfish half of basketball they just played. Their ball movement was absolutely impeccable. All in all, just beautiful basketball to watch. Shaq, your take on Indiana. They're getting abused in the paint defensively. That's their opponent set the tone. You can't match up physically, you're toast. That's what the scoreboard is reflecting right now. Toast with butter. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. as this round one game continues. It's been a clinic out there by Giannis Antetokounmpo. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime, but he has the ability to answer right back. Thanks for joining us again for round one of the NBA playoffs. Second half underway. Here's who Rick Carlisle's got on the floor. They've got Halliburton, Pascal Siakam out there with Nismith. Then there's Miles Turner, and it's Nimhart in at the two. And I'll tell you what, this is a guy who doesn't take a break at all on the board. Man, doing serious work. He likes being an anchor on the glass. Well, but as defenders keep forgetting to box him out, he continues to just make them pay. Nimhart. Anacupo grabs the board. Anacupo's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Lillard, and it's Milwaukee yeah. scoring again. So just a quick dribble right into his move. Lillard with the economy of motion. Pass to Nimhart. From 12 feet, and the basket is good. Nimhart's got 15 points. Oh, very clever how he creates space against a bigger defender. I'll tell you, the analytics crew may not like the mid-range, but sometimes you just got to put it in the basket. Here's Nimhart. He's got 15. Now here's Halliburton. Pass to Neesmith. Here's the three. Rebounded by the Bucks. Portis has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Middleton passes to Anacumpo. And he gets it to go again. He's connected on 10 of 15 now. They're finding ways to get the ball to the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Nimhar, good. Nimhar's got four points now in the quarter. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. Well, major height disadvantage. He recognizes that and still able to score. A genuine sniper from downtown. Lillard's confidence is what makes him so dangerous. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Second personal foul. First team foul. Half the line for the Pacers. Pascal Siakam. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Boy, the evolution of Pascal Siakam has been such a pleasure to watch. The work ethic is commendable, and he's learning how to be a leader, guys. Siakam hits them both. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. He's still feeling it. That one a little long. 
his defensive talent, such a gift for his squad. Boy, you see the effort. You see the range. This guy prides himself in his ability to shut you down. Now here's Middleton. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Middleton's got his second basket on the night. And using that six foot seven frame to get in there and do work, Middleton will take on anybody. Nimhart, the pass to Turner. Second chance effort, and it's good on the layup. Turner's gotten his second bucket. You have to appreciate the doggedness and intensity on the glass. Wow. Lillard into the lane. The defense gets cut to shreds by Lillard on the drive. He's just so quick and agile. Siakam against Santa de Kumpo. Pass to Nee Smith. Portis with the steal. Here's Middleton. And a good offensive board, and he gets the bucket. Middleton's got four points this quarter. Yeah, he really gets in there. Middleton got the board and got his bread. Here's Nimhart. Good. And that basket makes him eight for 14 for the game. <laughs> Making a slick move off the dribble to get the easy two. Middleton attacking. Again, Milwaukee. That's the mindset Middleton has to have. Be active and keep moving. Never let the defense get comfortable. Pass to Nimhart. Kicks it out to Siakam. Five to shoot. Shoots over Portis. Here's Turner. It's hauled in by Portis. Portis has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. A nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Now here's Lillard. They lead by 24, their biggest margin. Out to Beasley. The three is up. The Bucks rebound. Anacupo can't connect. The Pacers have gotten only four of ten shots to fall so far in the third. They get it back. Siakam. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Boy, what a clever decision there by Pascal Siakam. Sticks with the shot and wins a trip to the free throw line. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Milwaukee. Well, they did a tremendous job keeping guys fresh. Their aggressiveness took over, showcased by their points off the fast break. Something else that they've had working for them is attacking the offensive glass. Boy, taking advantage and creating second chance points. Impressive. And some changes here for the Bucks. Gallinari, he's checked in for Ana de Kumpo, and it's Crowder in for Middleton. The Pacers also with a sub. McConnell, he's checked in for Nimhart. And the second free throw is good. And so it's Lillard who brings up the ball for the Bucks. Pass to Gallinari. Here's Crowder. Back to Beasley. Out to Portis. The Bucks need to get up a shot here. Beasley misses. He's always quick to pop out and defend the three. You know, we talk about this time and time again, trying to stay connected to shooters along the perimeter. Nicely done. Now here's McConnell. Nine points in the game. Lillard outside. Pass to Portis. Yes! Great play by Lillard to set it up. Lillard's got four assists in the game. Lillard against McConnell. Poke loose. Now Turner. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Turner's got six points. Well, exactly what you want from the guy in your pick and roll roll position. He's got to be able to set a firm screen and then find his opening. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Lillard. Boy, not sure what happened on that one. Just an unforced error. Lopez, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Beverly comes in for Beasley. The Pacers have gotten 5 of 12 shots to drop in the third. Pass to Lillard. Now here's Crowder. 
Here's Beverly. And here's Lillard. He's marked by McConnell. 14 feet away. The Pacers pull it in. And that's where you want to make the next pass. This guy is a good scorer, but the defense was right on him. Pass to Jackson. Now here's Halliburton. Defended by Lillard. Looking to get back on track. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. Here's Gallinari. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. Here's Toppin. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. Beverly with it. He has seven. Outside Gallinari. Drops in the three. Gallinari's got himself going here. His first point of the game on the deep ball. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Three-pointer. Halliburton gets the three ball to go. Now, Halliburton loves answering a challenge. A three made on one end means it's time for him to come back and answer. Lillard can't get it to go. Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. Pass to Toppin. Halliburton against Beverly. The ball's knocked loose. Lopez with the steal. Beverly, the pass to Lopez. Here's Crowder. Takes a three. And another three for Milwaukee. Listen, this is a guy who can get hot from downtown. Great right to see Jay Crowder being aggressive when given the opportunity. McConnell against Lillard. Shot clock at six. And the foul called on Danilo Gallinari. That's his first foul of the game. And the Bucks making a change here. Middleton's checked in. Now into the lineup for your Bucks, Chris Middleton. Toppin outside. Five on the clock. And Halliburton with the basket. And the assist by Jackson. Halliburton's got 13 now. Great shooters trust their shooting motion. Tyrese Halliburton with the jumper. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. And down it goes. Two points. Their spacing isn't quite as good as it was in the first half. They may need to hit more threes to stretch that defense. Now here's Beverly. Seven points in the game. Out of bounds. It'll be Indiana's ball. Pass to Smith. Now here's McConnell. Hey, now five for eight, shooting a pretty good percentage right now. Well, they're trying to establish their attack down in the paint, and make no mistake, these help their overall confidence. Here's Beverly. Oh, steps back and drains the jumper. He's got nine. They've toned down their three-point attack in the second half, looking to protect the lead with higher percentage shots. McConnell passes to Toppin. Back to McConnell. There's the triple. Milwaukee with the rebound. Lopez has got his sixth rebound on the night. Middleton. And it's Middleton finishing it off. Some fire from Middleton. He's a springy 6'8", attacking off the wing. Pass to McConnell. To the inside. Halliburton up top. Six to shoot. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Halliburton. That almost looked like bad communication. You hate to see that kind of mistake. Giannis Antetokounmpo checked in for Milwaukee. And we've got 28 seconds left in the third quarter. And the dunk by Lillard. And you see why he's one of the top scorers in the league. Lillard does it in so many ways. And the basket by Halliburton. Halliburton. Halliburton's got seven points here in the quarter. And here's Aminakumpo. He'll bring it up for Milwaukee. It's Middleton on the wing. From outside, off the mark. 
And so it's Milwaukee. A huge 24-point lead for them. It hasn't taken them too many shots to get their points. They're winning with efficiency. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. Rick Carlisle had some advice for his team. Let's hear what he had to say. These guys are going to struggle guard movement, but if we dribble, 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 they got one situation to play. It's too easy, right? More ball movement. That's what Coach Carlisle is asking for. Exactly. I mean, when you over dribble, you're letting the defense off the hook. The more you move the ball, the more it tires out the defense. Thank you for joining 2K Sports in our coverage of this first round. It's small and power forward. It'll be Middleton and Giannis. Malik Beasley is out there with Damian Lillard. And it's Lopez in at the center position. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. Anadokounmpo with the block. Yeah, such an imposing defensive force. Giannis with the great timing on the rejection. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Now here's Halliburton. Rebounded by Lopez. Lopez has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here's Lillard. That one rolls around and rims out. A little hesitant. Maybe he thought the D was tighter on him than it really was. Nimhar, good. Boy, the consistency he's had tonight has been impressive. Really steady from the field. Here's Middleton. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Third personal foul. Intelligent play by Middleton. Now, he does what he can to ensure he gets fouled while in the act. Chris Middleton. Shooting two. First one falls for him. And some changes here for the Bucks. Crowder, he's checked in for Anadokounmpo. Jackson comes in for Lopez. And it's Connaughton in for Beasley. And he makes both free throws. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. Here's Nimhart. And he can't get that one. Some solid defense from Lillard. Softly drops in the floater. Lillard's got 31. Yeah, it looks so delicate coming off his fingertips. Lillard's floater is a lethal one. Pass to Shepard. Milwaukee with the rebound. You can't ask for a cleaner look than that. He just couldn't deliver. From eight feet. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. That's good. And so Middleton with the assist. Middleton's got six assists now in the game. Here's Nimhart, defended by Lillard. Looking to end the run. Hits the three-pointer. Nimhart's got 11 in the second half. And talk about payback. He hits the revenge triple. Oh, you love to see the competitive fire. A little bit of pride at stake. Now here's Jackson. Here's Lillard. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Yeah, inside Lillard is just so scrappy, turning aggressive defense into a foul while shooting. Damian Lillard. The first one falls. It's amazing to come to the arena every night just to see what Lillard's going to do. Gallinari, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. And both free throws good for Lillard. 
If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. Outside Johnson. Pass to Shepard. Crowder grabs the miss. The Bucks have gotten four or five attempts to fall so far in the fourth. Here's Lillard. Back to Gallinari. Over Johnson. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Pass to Shepard. Here he goes. The kick out to Walker. And again, Walker. it's Indiana with a three. Such a reliable threat from range. You'd think the defense might key on him a little bit more. Here's Lillard. Connaughton passes to Jackson. And here's Lillard. Just five on the clock. Another one falls for Milwaukee. He's putting them to the test this quarter, attacking every chance he gets. Here's Nimhart, defended by Lillard. Walker passes to Johnson. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. That's Walker. how you share the rock. He does this time and time again. Walker against Crowder. There's Jackson with the three. Rebounded by Johnson. And so it's Johnson with it. He brings it up for the Indiana Pacers. Count in. McDermott's got his first bucket of the night. Well, McDermott with the tough floater. Wow, that's a big-time shot. Outside Gallinari. And the ball out of play. The Pacers will have it. And the Bucks making a change here. Portis has checked in. Bobby Portis. Here's Nimhart. Outside Walker. To the middle. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. First team foul. At the line for the Pacers, Andrew Nembhard. Two, two. First free throw is good. Good on both. Here's Jackson. Pass to Crowder. Over McDermott. Second chance shot. Can't hit that one. Johnson with the defensive effort. Here's Nimhart. Defended by Jackson. Back to Johnson. Offensive board. Pass to Shepard. Hits the trifecta. Shepard's got himself on the board with a three there. Listen, this guy is not the most dangerous threat from there, but you have got to honor the shooting a little bit. And it's good for two. <laughs> They're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. Here's Nimhart. It's not going to go for him. Milwaukee has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Connaughton finds Portis. Jackson surveying the D. Shot clock at five. The fader nails it. He's now six for eight from the floor. You love that this guy doesn't get down on himself after a rough first half. Keep your composure and keep grinding. Pass to Nimhart. Shoots over Jackson. Again, the Andrew Pacers. Nimhart. Good for two more. Scoring well this quarter. Picking up steam as he goes. Here's Gallinari. 
Oh, and Johnson with a block. McDermott with a ball. Now guarded by Crowder. Here's Johnson. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. The effort, the position, the timing, all there. And add instincts to that. He can sense where the rebound's going to go. Jackson can't get it to go. Indiana on offense. They're on a 16-6 run. And no good for Milwaukee. They've gotten 8 of 15 during the fourth quarter. Crowder, that's good. Yeah, you know, I thought in the first half this guy was pressing. He was rushing. Now he's settled into the game. Indiana's gotten 6 of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. Pass to Shepard. Walker against Gallinari. And the call will be against Bobby Portis. Bobby Portis. That's his third foul of the game. And some changes here for the Bucks. Beverly comes in for Connaughton. And Damian Lillard subbed in for Jackson. Crowder with a steal. Lillard outside. Puts up a three. The Pacers pull it in. Pass to McConnell. He's got it. Six of ten now. Well, we see a lot of emphasis on three-point shooting nowadays, but you'll take that look right there any night of the week. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. Offensive rebound. And then Portis with the dunk. The defense getting out hustled on the putback. Can't let that happen. You have got to put a body on somebody. We talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be disciplined with the box outs. Everyone loves the alley you play, B.A. Yep, one of the prettiest in basketball. Halliburton against Beverly. Crowder outside. Pass to Lillard. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. T.J. McConnell. It's on T.J. McConnell. Just a highly effective free throw shooter. You cannot afford to give Lillard too many looks from the charity strike. Two shots. First one at the line is good. A different look for Milwaukee. Giannis Antetokounmpo checked in for Gallinari. Chris Middleton comes in for Crowder. And Beasley has subbed in for Beverly. And both free throws good for Lillard. And so it's Halliburton with it. He brings it up for the Pacers. Pass to Neesmith. Here's Nimhart over Beasley. The shot by Nimhart, no good. Middleton outside. And the bucket is good. Middleton's got four points now in the quarter. Yes, yeah, scrappy play by Middleton. Going up inside and forcing his shot past the coverage. And capturing the series momentum up front. This is a monster game one win for the Bucks. And it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And they have to be pleased with how they got this series started tonight. A nice 1-0 lead. The key now is to carry the same energy forward and get that second win. These are the playoffs, so you can't afford to relax or think you've got the series in the bag. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Damian Lillard. What you love about his performance is that he is simply taking what the defense allows and then making the most of his opportunities. Unfortunately for them, they're still going to come up short. You wish they shown this kind of fight earlier. No doubt. It felt like they were a little tight for much of the evening. Now they're in a better flow, but it may be too little too late. One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Back to Halliburton. Over Lillard. That 
and rolls around and rims out. And so it's Milwaukee easily grabbing this one. And it always takes a lot of pressure off the team when they get the win in game one. It's the most important game of the series. They've shown they know how to beat this team. The formula's in place. Now they just have to stick with it for the next few games. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Giannis, a tremendous performance. What enabled you to win this game so convincingly? Uh, it was a team effort. I think we came out, we did not mess around with the game. We came, we did our job, we defended, we moved the ball before we were able to uh, close the game. Giannis always recognizing the importance of his teammates. Thanks so much, Giannis. Thanks, Alec. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.